Hello, hello. Welcome to today's live English lesson here on the Speak English with Vanessa YouTube channel. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy week, maybe relaxing week or rainy week like it's been for me. And today I want to help you be able to level up your English skills specifically with the words that you say to help you level up your vocabulary. Because if you don't have the words that you need to say, well, you're not going to be able to express yourself. So today I hope to give you some wonderful tips and tricks to help you be able to express yourself when you speak. So welcome to today's live lesson. I'd like to first start by greeting you and asking you a question. I know we have friends from all around the world. So tell me, where are you from? Let me know in the comments where you're from. And I bet we have people from maybe every continent except Antarctica. Maybe we have someone from Antarctica here. <laughs> um, let me know where you're from and I would love to greet you. Oh, I see we have a friend from Japan. Hello, hello. I'm from Argentina, Richard, and I love you. Well, thank you for joining me, Richard. Always great to have you here. I see we have uh, Hu Tang from China. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Simon from India, welcome. Thanks for joining me. I know that it is not the lovely hour of 10 a.m. for all of you. So thank you for joining me, uh, no matter what time of day it is for you. Oh, I see we have a friend here from Ukraine. Welcome from Italy. Hello, hello. From Egypt, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Niloy from Bangladesh, thanks so much for joining me. All right, I have a question for you to get started with. My question is, what do you think? How many vocabulary phrases are there in English? We could change this to vocabulary words, but I wanna know, what is your guess? Write it in the comments. And if anyone is somewhat close, don't Google it, <laughs> uh, then you will win a gold star. <laughs> how many vocabulary words or phrases are there in English? Now, I want to say this is how many vocabulary words are in use because the English language has been around for a long time. There's a lot of old words, ancient words, words that I don't know because they were used hundreds and hundreds of years ago. But I wanna know how many vocabulary words are there in English according to you know some sources because there's obviously some uh, subjectivity to this. Let me know what you think. All right. Um, we have, Ripster says 30,000, okay, um, let's see, Mrs. Tendar says 30,000, all right, we've got a couple 30,000s here, a million, okay, all right, Marcio says 3,500, okay, Dasha says 40,000, well, I'll give you a little hint, it is above Dasha's answer and below Talal's answer of 300,000. So somewhere between 30,000, 40,000 and 300,000. The answer, according to the Oxford English Dictionary of how many vocabulary words are in use in English is, I'll write it out here. 1,000, uh, 100,000, 170,000 words are in use in English. Oh my goodness. How many pieces of paper would that take if you were trying to write out all of the words of English? Crazy. <laughs> but the good news is in daily conversation, we use a lot less than that. And you probably know more words than you think, but it is often the case that when you're learning another language like English, you're trying to have a conversation with someone and you know how you would sound in your native language. You know how fluent, how smooth, how cool <laughs> you sound in your native language because that's your personality. But when you try to have a similar conversation in English, ugh, <laughs> the words 
are stuck in your head and they're just not coming out and you can't really just express yourself in the way that you really want to. Well, the good news is you do not need to learn all 170,000 words in English, <laughs> but you do need to expand your vocabulary so that you can express yourself in a similar way that you express yourself in your native language. Uh, so I have another question for you. How would your life change if you could speak English clearly and confidently? Let me know what kind of things would happen in your life. How would your life change? So let's imagine that you can have a conversation in English similar to a conversation that you might have in your native language. If you speak with your clients in your native language and then you speak with English speaking clients in English, well, what if those conversations were very similar? What would happen? How would your life change? Would you get a better job, a promotion? Would your company get more clients because all of a sudden, wow, they can have great communication with you? Let me know in the comments what would happen if you could speak English clearly and confidently. Clover says, I would meet with more people. Okay, so make more friends, have more connections with great people around the world. Verb says, I would gain personal confidence. You know, this one I think is huge because it doesn't matter if you use English for travel, for your job, just for fun, to help tourists in your city. If you have personal confidence when you're speaking in English, you can do all those things. Really, the door is open, the world is open to you. As we say, the world is your oyster <laughs> when you have the confidence in English. And that is what I would love to help you with. I wanna help you speak English clearly, but also with confidence. Uh, Tiha says, I would have many friends from different countries. Great, yes, having those friendships in other countries can expand your worldview. You can teach them about your country and the world becomes a much smaller place, of course. Um, I'm an English teacher, but I would still be so happy if I can speak English clearly and confidently. Yes, I know a lot of people who are students on my YouTube channel are English teachers. And you know what? This is just my personal opinion. I think you guys are the best English teachers in the world because you are trying to improve your skills and your students are so lucky. Some teachers just teach and they never really care about improving themselves and their skills, but you're trying to improve your skills so you can help your students. Your students are very lucky. <laughs> um, all right, let me read a few more of your comments about how your life would change. I'd be capable of giving any interview. Oh, great. Yeah, there's nothing scarier than being asked interview questions in English and not knowing the answer. So yes, you would be able to get um, more jobs and complete interviews successfully. I would complete a master's and doctorate degree. Very cool. So increase your education, which of course increases your knowledge, but also your job and earning potential. You can make more money. Awesome. Well, I have some good news. I would like to tell you about something that can help you to speak English clearly and confidently. I would like to introduce you to the 30 day vocabulary challenge. This is a special course that I have created just for you <laughs> to help you be able to express yourself clearly and confidently so that you can get your master's and doctorate degree so that you can connect with more friends around the world all of these wonderful benefits that you just mentioned, when you increase your vocabulary, you can express yourself more completely and have that personal confidence that really can help you to do anything. Uh, at the moment, the 30 day vocabulary challenge is 40% off. If you go to the link speakenglishwithvanessa.com slash live, you can get that 40% off discount. But I'd like to tell you a little bit more about it because is the course a good fit for you? What even is this course? Can I just watch your YouTube videos, Vanessa? <laughs> Let me tell you about what this course is to help you be able to level up your vocabulary skills. So in the 30-day vocabulary challenge, you will learn to, 
I mentioned, express yourself easily. When you're having conversations, you'll be able to remember the words that you want to say. Dust off those dusty words that are hanging out in your brain and you'll be able to use them. And this is something that I think is uh, one of the best benefits of doing a 30-day challenge. You are focused for 30 days so you can quickly improve without wasting your time. Uh, If you're like me, you're a busy person. (laughs) You have a lot going on, your job, your friends, your family, your community, lots of things. And you don't have three hours a day to study English. And even if you do have three hours a day to study English, uh, that can get really tiring. So in the 30-day vocabulary challenge, you will be studying for 15 minutes every day. Each lesson is designed to take you 15 minutes so you can be drinking your coffee and studying the lesson, having a good time, (laughs) or having your lunch break, or after your kids go to bed, you can log in, study your 15 minute lesson and not waste time. It's really frustrating in my opinion to study and study and study and study and then not improve. So the idea of this course is to help you quickly improve without wasting time so that you can finally speak real English, not just basic level English, but English that will really express your personality and the words that you want to say, not just the words that you know, but the real rich vocabulary that you know you can use. So in the 30-day vocabulary challenge, there have been students who have loved this method, the method of the 30-day vocabulary challenge. I'll tell you about in just a minute. Um, Aldair says, it was an amazing experience because I've learned new vocabulary, phrasal verbs, how to use those in conversation, and also the meaning of those depending on the context. This is key. You can make lists of vocabulary words for years. And when you have a conversation, I guarantee you're going to have that conversation and your face will look like this. (laughs) Because you're not going to know the context and have the practice to be able to remember them and use them. So that is one of the keys here is to be able to use them. Uh, Vincinia says, without wasting a single day, I learned a lot and it was really fun. I've been in in language classes that were extremely boring. (laughs) So it's my goal as an English teacher to help you have fun and, like you said, not waste any time. If you've been learning English on my YouTube channel for a while, uh, you know that I try to bring, excuse me, lots of energy and lots of excitement to each lesson so that you stay motivated. And it looks like it worked for him. It was really fun. Uh, Nuna says, no one was able to explain these phrasal verbs in an easy way like you did. Wonderful. Well, this is my goal, to be able to easily explain vocabulary, phrases, expressions, so that you don't feel confused anymore. And all of a sudden, it's like the sun came out on a cloudy day. Ah. Oh you realize, oh, I can use that. Oh, I know what that means. This kind of light bulb moment, that is my goal as a teacher. So let's go through the four-step listening method, our vocabulary method. In this course, we use the four-step vocabulary method. There are four distinct sections to help you level up your vocabulary skills. Because I get some emails from students maybe from you, who say, Vanessa, I watch your YouTube videos. Can I just watch your YouTube videos? And yes, of course, you can watch my YouTube videos. But one of the benefits of joining a Speak English with Vanessa course is I have created a method, a step-by-step process to help you not just watch the video, but take it to the next level. It's great to watch the YouTube lessons, and you can really improve a lot by doing that. But here in the 30-Day Vocabulary Challenge, I'm going to be taking you through all four steps, which is the method, the the path on the journey (laughs) to help you improve your vocabulary and speaking skills. So let's go through the four-step vocabulary method. And if this sounds interesting to you, you are welcome to join the 30-Day Vocabulary Challenge at speakenglishwithvanessa.com slash live. 
Today is the last day. It closes tonight. So you can do that at any point during this live lesson. All right, let's start with step one. The first step every day for 30 days, you are going to read the story. This is something I'm very excited about. I hired a professional story writer to create a 30 day story that includes all of the vocabulary that I want you to learn in this course. She created a great story. It's going to take you on a fun journey, <laughs> some highs and some lows. And it includes each day key vocabulary words, about five to 10 vocabulary phrases to help you learn them in context. This story will keep you engaged. Each day you'll wonder what's going to happen next in the story. And so you'll study day two and you'll open up the story and say, what's going to happen in day three? She created a beautiful story that includes all this key vocabulary. And that is step one. Don't just memorize lists of vocabulary. Read the story. Learn the vocabulary in context. The next step is to watch the daily video lesson. So I have created a video lesson every day to help you be able to dive deeper into those expressions. When you read the story, you'll see those five to 10 vocabulary phrases in the context of the story. And in step two, I will teach you how and when to use them. I'll give you sample sentences, ideas, some tips and tricks about how not to use them, different situations for using them so that you can use them in conversations. So first you'll read the story, then you'll watch the daily video lesson. Step three is it's time to test yourself. <laughs> you will take the daily vocabulary quiz so that you don't forget what you've learned. You're testing yourself to see, huh, did I really remember these expressions? Can I choose which one goes in this quiz? And if you get it correct, great. And if you don't, you're welcome to take the quiz as many times as you need to. So there will be a daily quiz with all of the key vocabulary phrases. And step four, is to answer the daily question. So you will be able to use a vocabulary phrase or as many as you want to answer the daily question in our community. Our professional American English teachers will give you feedback on your sentences. If you used something incorrectly or if you're not sure about it, you just ask a question and our teachers will be able to give you feedback. In my opinion, this is another huge benefit <laughs> of joining a course compared to YouTube. I try to reply to a few comments on YouTube. I love reading your comments, but I can't reply to all of them and answer all of your questions. But in a course, our professional American English teachers will answer your questions. They will give you feedback on your writing and your sentences and your vocabulary use so that you can really level up your skills. So you will have someone who will help you to be able to level up. Um, and this also helps because you're writing your own answers to the daily question. It helps you to be able to remember them. I think this is the biggest struggle when it comes to vocabulary is, oh my goodness, I need to remember all of this. <laughs> so I have a little um, warning for you. In the 30-day vocabulary challenge, you will learn over 200 vocabulary phrases. But... If you see a vocabulary course that tries to teach you 1,000 vocabulary phrases in 30 days, don't do it. Do you know why? Our brains are super amazing and incredibly capable, but we cannot learn 1,000 vocabulary phrases in this short period of time. So I have created this course to include 200 very important, intermediate, and advanced vocabulary phrases that you need to know, not hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of expressions, because that is probably going to waste your time. That might be a fun course, but the goal is for you to remember them forever. <laughs> so I have included the expressions that you really need to know, and many, many of these I'm sure you do not know yet. Some of them might be living in your brain covered in some dust and this course will dust them off. <laughs> but this isn't going to include 
just exactly the amount that you are capable of remembering and using. Now, I have a question for you. Have you ever had a difficult time staying motivated to learn English? Let me know in the comments um, if you've ever had a difficult time maintaining motivation. Another way to say that is staying motivated. I know that I have <laughs> I have joined several uh, several different courses in my lifetime, and sometimes it's been a hard it's been hard to stay motivated. So let me know in the comments if you have ever had a hard time staying motivated. Um, let me know in the comments because I have some uh, solution I would love to share with you. Monica says, all the time, cry face. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, Fatima says, yes, I have had a hard time staying motivated for sure. Yes. And why is motivation something that's difficult to have? In my opinion, it's just because we're busy. There's a lot going on. So how can we stick with something, especially something that we need to do every day for 30 days? Well, the best thing that you can do is to do this together. When you're doing something with other people together, you can stay motivated. And this is something special that we're doing. We are going to be working together over 30 days. Everyone in the course will study day one together. In the, the community, all of the teachers will be replying to your daily questions for day one. You can read each other's day one questions, day one answers, all of this feedback, and you will be in this community experience so that you can stay motivated. A lot of my students who have practiced the 30-day vocabulary challenge and my other 30-day challenges together have been really excited to see, oh, what are other people's sentences? What's going to be the lesson tomorrow? I hope that I'll be able to see my friends in the comments and see what they're doing as well. This type of community is really the only way to stay motivated. When you're doing something together, together is better, right? <laughs> so I'd like to tell you about a couple special bonuses in this course. There are three bonuses that are available in the 30-day vocabulary challenge. The first bonus is an audio version of the full story. So I mentioned earlier that there is a piece of the story that you're going to receive over the 30 days. And there is an audio recording. You can listen to it every day, but I would like to give you an audio version of the full story. This is a about a 30 to 40 minute audio story that you can listen to. It includes the entire vocabulary word bank from the entire course in the story. You can go for a walk, a beautiful 30, 40 minute walk in your neighborhood, in a park, in the woods, listen to the story, and you're going to be immersing yourself in that vocabulary in context. Also, you're going to get access to an active community. Every day after you finish the lesson, you can answer the daily question in our community. So I know in some courses, the teachers recommend that you email them your homework and then they can send you back the feedback. This is fine. But I think having a community where you can see other students' answers and the feedback that other students are receiving, you can learn from each other. So when someone else has a question and you say, oh, I had that same question, you can see the answer that the teachers gave and you can learn together. So like I mentioned, this is great for motivation, but it's also great for learning. Learn from each other's mistakes and each other's questions. The bonus number three is weekly exams. So on day 7, 14, 21, and 29, you're going to receive weekly exams. Dun, dun, dun. I'm very excited about these because this will test what you learned over the previous six to seven days. And you will be, answer you will be answering questions about the vocabulary. You will be needing to use the vocabulary out loud, speaking, and answering only within three seconds. This is kind of mimicking real life conversations because just written exams, I think that's fine, but 
when you're having a real conversation with someone, you don't have time to think. <laughs> so our exams will also test your quick ability to remember the vocabulary in a conversation, not just a written exam. And you will be testing yourself every week. There will also be a final exam on day 30. It will include so many vocabulary expressions. You will be testing yourself to see how much you remember. And I think it will be a lot of fun as well because you have worked hard every single day. All of these bonuses have a $149 value, but they are bonuses. So I am giving them to you for free if you join the course. So if you would like to join, you can join at speakenglishwithvanessa.com slash live. And there is a $40 discount if you join at the end, by the end of the day today, because we have some important information. Come a little closer. Are you ready? The course begins tomorrow. <laughs> Don't miss it. The course begins tomorrow. The course begins on April 20th, 2024. Yes, that's the correct year, 2024. Already it's 2024. We are going to begin day one on April 20th. So if you are joining me live right now, make sure that you join before April 20th so that you can learn with us. If you are watching this after April 19th, then you might not be learning every single day with us and the community aspect will be a little bit different. But the full price for the 30-day vocabulary challenge is usually $99. But like I mentioned, you will get a 40% off discount or $40 off discount. So the total price is $60. This is about $2 per day. So you will be able to study a lesson every day for 30 days. And the total price is $60. This is US dollars. Um, but you need to know that the discount ends at the end of the day today. This is about 12 hours from now. So right now it is 1030 in the morning. And in 12 hours at midnight tonight, this 40% off discount will close and the course will go back to being the original price of $99. So I would love for you to be able to level up your vocabulary skills, speak clearly, express yourself confidently, and save money. I think that's the perfect combo, right? <laughs> so make sure that you click on the link speakenglishwithvanessa.com slash live before midnight tonight so that you can get that discount. That would be wonderful. Well, before we go on, I want to have a little shout out. I saw that a couple of you joined the course. I would like to give a shout out to uh, Michelin Meirat. Thanks so much for joining. Uh, Varsha Yadav, awesome. So excited that you're in the course. Uh, Hiroshi Uehara, yes. Thanks so much for joining. It must be evening for you in Japan. Thank you so much for joining me in the evening. Um, awesome. Well, I hope that everyone else as well is able to join. Uh, I would like to show you inside the course, and while I'm showing you inside the course, this is your chance to ask me any questions. So if you have any questions for me, please write them in the comments, and I would love to try to help you answer them. I will be here live for the next 10 minutes or so, and I hope that you will be able to get your questions answered. So feel free to write your questions in the comments while I show you inside the course. We're going to take a look at the course right now. Let's see if I can figure out how to share my screen. All right. Okay. Here we are. All right. You can see here inside the 30 day vocabulary challenge. When you join the course, you will immediately have access to this day zero. Start here. So let's take a look at that. On day zero today, <laughs> you will have access to this tutorial video to help you learn how to use the course in the best way possible. 
you will have access to the course calendar that you can download and check off each day as you do it. It feels great, trust me. <laughs> and you will also have access to my study guide so that you can really use the course each day with the four-step vocabulary method. Now, when you join the course, you will not be able to access day one until, which day was it? Tomorrow, <laughs> April 20th, but I'm going to give you a sneak peek. So in the 30-day vocabulary challenge, remember our four steps. This is day one. First, you will read the story. Here it is, the lovely story that our professional story writer has created. This is the first installment. There are 30 installments, <laughs> and it includes all of the key vocabulary that you're going to learn on day one. You're welcome to um, listen to the audio version as well of the story. And then step two is to watch my video lesson where I will really describe in detail each of the vocabulary expressions. Each of my explanations and a lot of the sample sentences are also included in this document down here. So you can always um, download this document if you want to print it out and study it further. And after you finish the video, which is step two, you will go on to step three and take the daily quiz. I don't think you realize that you've gotten, hmm, by trying to work two jobs at the same time. Hmm, which one is correct? But back in the day, out of your price range, in over your head. Oh, I think this might be correct. Let's see. <gasps> Ta -da! And then you'll go to the next question. And finally, step four is to answer the daily question in the comments in our community. So here in the document, there is the daily question. Can you name a skill or ability that is second nature to you? Here's my sample answer. I also talk about this question in the daily video lesson. And at the end of each lesson for step four, you will write your answer down here and our professional teachers will give you feedback. You can see in um, day zero, uh, there are many students who have written their little welcome greeting here. And our teachers also have given some welcome to students as well. All right, let's go back to our wonderful uh, live stream. So now that you've had a sneak peek inside the course, I wanna answer any of your questions that you might have about the 30 day vocabulary challenge. Claudia has a great question. Hello, Vanessa. I'd like to know what my level of English must be, must be in, able to, uh, in order to join your English classes. Claudia, my recommendation is that you are a high beginner, intermediate student, or advanced student. If you are a low beginner, you have a really hard time understanding my YouTube lessons, or you are so advanced <laughs> that really you can have so many different types of conversations without problems, that very low and very high level, this course is not for you but most of my students are in the middle of that zone. So you will either be able to learn over 200 new expressions that you've never heard of before, or if you're like an advanced level, you will learn 200 expressions that some of them you might have heard of before, but you probably don't use consistently in daily conversation. So I recommend high beginner, intermediate and advanced students can join this course. There's also subtitles for every lesson. You're welcome to download the, the story, the audios, all of this in order to be able to study it um, on your own without the internet. If you need to write on the documents, I know that there's different study styles for different students in different levels. So yes, um, I hope that that helps. Um, all right, I saw another great question up here. Someone asked, um, what is the payment method? The payment method, you can pay through a credit card or through PayPal. Either of those are fine. And um, if you have any difficulties, you're always welcome to send me an email and I can try to help you with that. 
another great question. Vercor says, is it only for one month? So the video lessons, this is a great question because I have not mentioned this yet. The lessons last for 30 days. There are 30 lessons in the course. We just looked at the course curriculum and it, there are 30 lessons. But when you finish the 30 days, you will always have access to that course. So you're welcome to go back and review it forever. You have lifetime access to the lessons. In my opinion, this is really important because it's great to study a course once, but maybe in a year you'll want to go back and study it again. Or maybe on day 13, your kid gets sick and you have to miss four days. I get it. That happens. <laughs> That's life. But when your child feels better again and you have 15 minutes extra per day to study, you can just start studying again. No problem. You will have lifetime access to the lessons. <clears throat> All right. Let me see if we have any other questions here specifically about the course. And then I will go to um, our next question, which is who is the course for? So I have... I briefly mentioned that it's good for high beginner, intermediate, and advanced English learners. It's also good if you have and you feel like you want to commit to 15 minutes per day. So what I recommend, in this is also in my guide when you join the course on day zero, I recommend that you choose the same time every day for studying. It could be any time. It could be when you have a break at work. Maybe you have a break at 10 a.m., a coffee break. Okay, you have a 15-minute coffee break. Drink your coffee, study the English lesson, and it's going to be the same habit every day. Or maybe it's when you get home from work, you've kicked off your work shoes, and you're sitting down, and you think, oh, I'd like to drink a beer and watch Vanessa's English lesson and study the four-step vocabulary method today. Great. You can do that and have that habit at the same time every day. So if you are willing to commit to the same time every day, this course is definitely for you. Uh, another, another thing that I would like to mention is the refund policy. When I purchase anything online, I always research the refund policy because what if it's not for me. <laughs> what if I buy something and then I realize uh, this is actually not for me. I, my level is too low. My level is too high. I just don't have enough, enough time for this, um, even though you do have lifetime access. <laughs> um, what is the refund policy? So I offer for all of my courses a 30-day no questions asked refund policy. So within 30 days of your purchase, if you feel like this course is not for me, just send me an email and say, Vanessa, thanks for your course, but I would like a refund. No problem. I will send you a refund right away as soon as I see your email and you will get your money back because I want you to have low risk, no problem joining the course because I feel so confident that you will love the course. I want to give you this big refund window of 30 days because I feel confident you're going to read the story, study the vocabulary daily lesson, take the quiz, answer the daily question, and your vocabulary level will grow. You will enjoy yourself while you're studying English, and you'll be able to express yourself completely in English. So I offer this 30-day refund, low risk for you. Um, and finally, if you have any questions, final questions for me, about the 30-day vocabulary challenge. I would like to help you with them. Uh, the course discount closes tonight. So if you would like this $40 discount, the course is $60 total, then you can join before midnight tonight. That's about 12 hours. Technically, it's 11 hours and 19 minutes. <laughs> um, but or 13 hours and 19 minutes, something like that. <laughs> um, but if you have any questions for me, you can write them in the comments. You're welcome to also send me an email and I will try my best to answer them before the end of the day so that you can get your discount. 
Oh, I see Alex says, I purchased your course today without a refund. All right, thanks, Alex. I'm so excited to join you for the next 30 days. That is awesome. I also see we have a few other students who just joined right now. Iman Hassan, thanks for joining. Ben Bungi, welcome. Thanks for joining. Aline Sperano, thanks so much. Aline, I know you've joined many Speak English with Vanessa courses. So thank you for joining this one. I always feel really excited when students return to join other Speak English with Vanessa courses. This means you're still motivated and you enjoyed the previous courses because you're joining more courses. So thank you, Aline. I'm so excited to share this course with you. Uh, the story is very special and I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. We start tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Day one lesson is tomorrow. So make sure that you join before midnight. And to join, you only need to go to speakenglishwithvanessa.com slash live. And you can get the 40% off discount or $40 discount with a total price of $60 before midnight tonight. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. I'm so excited that you were able to spend some time during this live lesson to join me at the Speak English with Vanessa YouTube channel. And I hope to be able to guide you through the 30-day vocabulary challenge starting tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> I hope to see you tomorrow in the 30-day vocabulary challenge. And thank you again for being my student. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I want to say goodbye to all of you who are watching today. Noni, goodbye. Thanks for joining me. Dave, thanks so much for being here. Alba, thanks so much. Uh, Karusu, thanks so much. Fautla, thanks so much for joining me. Omar, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow <laughs> for the 30-day vocabulary challenge. Bye everyone.